uh, win. And wins are good. Um, Wayno kind of following up with like his uh, first four last time out. I mean, just uh, controlling everything. I thought he did a nice job of establishing the breaking ball early, but didn't overuse it. I thought his cutter slider was probably the best it's been all season. Um, and then he didn't try to overdo his fastball. And you know, at one point, you know, probably around the fourth, it looked like he had had almost half of his outs on on uh, on fastballs at, at some point by being able to make it on the inside part of the plate and and then having him set up for, for a way also. I, I thought he just did a real nice job of executing pitches all day. For lack of a better term, did he stay relaxed? That last time where he kind of tried to <clears throat> Yeah, I think he tried to hump up a little bit last time when he had a big lead heading into the fifth. And um, I think in his mind, he's, and he probably told you all this, that he didn't want to back off. And so then he tried to put the throttle down instead of just stay the course you know, with what was working. And I think today he got back in trusting. Um, and, you know, that's it's such an effective fastball when everything else is working. And when he's putting it where he wants to, I think every one of our guys is very vulnerable to uh, find in the middle of the plate when they try to add too much, whether it's doing it, getting jumpy with their legs or trying just to add velocity, to add velocity. You know, there's times to do that above the zone, um, but that's not necessarily part of Adam's game right now. It's putting it exactly where he wants to, and he did for the majority of the night. Mike, the win stat's kind of crazy considering you're the 5.4 ERA, but 10 wins, that's still pretty impressive. What do you say? What do you think of that? That's the bottom line for us. we got to win. So he's on the mound. You, you, uh, just have to be uh, excited about your chances, and you know, there's you, know, you take the, the stats and run with them in a lot of different directions. But for us, it is the bottom line. You know, our starters need to go out and give us a chance to win, and Adam's been doing that on a very consistent basis. I thought Matt Bowman came in, did a terrific job getting him out of a bind, and then Brett and and, and then uh, oh, um, really, really well done. Nice to see that back end of the pen kind of really uh, fall into a good place. You find it unusual that in the last two years you brought up. Yeah, I think Paul's going to walk, and I, I've seen it. And and uh, his his stats over a short professional career in the minor leagues have shown that he will take a walk. Um, I'm not sure we want him taking walks if, if he's getting balls that he can drive like that. So um, keep hitting the ball hard. You know, they they they're making pitches on you that you can't get the barrel to. You know, it's time to make a change of approach. But um, you know, home run and few doubles. Pretty nice day. How long do you leave now? Excuse me? How long do you leave the eighth? How long do you leave the eighth? Oh, I don't know. Um, seems to work for him hitting eighth right now. Um, we'll, uh, we'll have kind of moving pieces all the time as we talk about how we use the outfield and where the different opportunities are. We're not going to deny that uh, whoever's swinging the best in any particular spot has an opportunity to, um, to either stick in a spot or fill in a hole if we have to get creative. I know it's only been He just, um, I, I like watching the, the whole package too with what he's doing defensively. He's just uh, confident how he's going after the ball. Um, his throws across the infield are true. Um, and then he's, and he gets the opportunity, he's, he's making things happen. And you know, we talk about the young players coming up, whether it's a Luke Voigt or whether it is a Paul DeYoung, to jump or look at Tommy Pham this year. Guy didn't even make our team out of the spring. You get an opportunity, you know, make the most out of it and um, trust yourself. And I see these young guys not overwhelmed uh, with the opportunity and making the most of it. You mentioned the other day that he doesn't seem affected by, let's say, defensive mistakes like he made when he already had four shots and didn't know it. And then he comes back and yeah, and that's you know that's a that's a tough play because um, you can't tell exactly what your first baseman did on that. And when you've got fans roaring, we had fans from both sides roaring today. And um, it, it, usually you'd wait to hear a tag, but there was too much noise at that particular time. And from his angle, it was just a depth perception issue of whether or not Void had touched the base when he made his turn around. Um, so you know, get the out and be sure um, rather than second guess yourself and be sorry. No, I don't. I think that's been one of the um, impressive things about him is that he hasn't shown um, any sort of extra anxiety about 
you know, being in the big leagues. He just looks like you know, he's going to keep playing baseball, and he's going about it in a very uh, professional manner. Like we said, he's handling the mistakes, he's handling the success, um, but he's always putting the throttle down to learn a little bit more. I love that about him. Um, but he's asking the right questions, and he has from day one. He's 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 got a plan. He seems to have an idea every time he walks into the box, and not just up there swinging. And taking mad hacks, he's he's got an idea, and I think all those things talk about his baseball IQ, which I believe is higher than what it should be for his limited experience. Do you prefer the pitchers not catch pop-ups? You know, I I had a memory from World Series Game One um, not that long ago when that same play happens and pitcher doesn't doesn't take control of it, and um, you know, right there, Bowman needs to make that play. Um, when they're not up high enough, they're just going to have to be aggressive until they hear a corner infielder call them off.